Hello everybody, Xbox Gamer Dad White here. And in this episode, we're gonna go over backing up and restoring your console settings. So I just recently went out and got me my Xbox One X. Uh, it was the last day of the March sale, so I finally decided to go ahead and break down and buy one. So I'm gonna replace my Xbox One S with my new Xbox One X but I want to move the settings from my S to my X, and we will go over that. Uh, there are some things that you can back up and some things that won't back up, so let's go over that list of items so we know how to proceed. Okay, everybody, here we are on Xbox's site that tells you how to back up your, your settings. They have a real good list on this site of things that they'll back up and won't back up. They also have the instructions. I'll put the link down in the description so you can get to it also. So backing up the settings, here are the items that are included in backing up. Um, we can see that most of the sign-in preferences will be backed up. Your Blu-ray and DVD settings, your volume, your narrator, magnifier, closed captions, your higher contrast, your network name for your, those of you using a, a Wi-Fi, your system theme, your home Xbox settings, uh, most of your power and startup settings and will be backed up, uh, Xbox app connectivity settings, uh, any of your broadcast settings you've changed, notifications, language, time zone, any updates, game and apps drive. What they mean right here is games and apps on an external drive, not an internal drive. Your uh, current backup that you're going to do, so that's when you actually actually go in and actually tell it to back a system up, we'll keep it on your thing. Your, your Katana settings. The list of things that won't back up are quite a bit more. Um, if you're using controller sign in, that won't carry across. Any of your privacy settings, your linked social accounts, although I find that not to be totally true. I found that it did uh, retain those, so I'm not sure how accurate that is. Uh, content restrictions, so if you're using uh, any filtering in your family, any of your advanced network settings. Uh, these console name, obviously it's, it's not going to keep the console name of your old console if you're going to a new console. Video output settings, of course that's unique to the, to the console, uh, especially if you're changing the type. Connect accessories, game clip resolution and capture location. Um, that's a little hard to carry from one console to the next, especially if you're pointing to an external drive. Your activity feed, TV, uh, power settings for external storage, profiles other than the one you're using. So if you have more than one profile, what that means is if there's more than one profile on your console, you will not back up the other profile settings, just the one that you're currently in using to back up at the time. So you'll have to re-log into all those others. And games, uh, it will not back up games on the internal drive to the external drive. Because of this one right here, I'm going to go through a process where I'm actually going to copy my games from my internal drive to my external drive and we'll go over that here in just a minute just so I don't have to re-download all those games and all those apps that are on my internal drive and I'll show you the method I'm going to use so this is the list I will uh, like I said I'll put the link in and you can look these up okay so we've gone through the list of everything that the, the system will back up and won't back up. And I've got my little printout here, so I have a checklist of things. One of the things we know it will not back up is the internal hard drive. So what I'm going to do, because I want my games off my internal hard drive, 
to go onto the new console back onto the internal hard drive. I have an external hard drive already on there with games on it. But I don't want to have to sort through and figure out which ones were there and which ones were on the internal. So I am going to use a different internal hard drive or external hard drive. I got a little note so I know which one's internal and which one's external stuff. That I'm going to copy all my games and apps from the internal hard drive to the external hard drive. Um, and then I'm going to use this hard drive for the backup. So let me get it hooked up and then we'll jump into the screen and start the process of copying the data to the new, to the external hard drive if, right before we do our backup. Okay, we've got the hard drive connected now to the internal, uh, to the system, the, the one I'm calling the internal external drive. And it just got recognized. So we are going to um, go to transferring the data. So we're going to go to our settings. Whoops. Always forget to go down one. Settings. And we're going to go to system. We're going to go down to storage. And here's our two drives. There's the, the one I have for transferring data and this is the internal. So I'm going to copy everything from this internal drive to this external storage drive. The reason I'm going to do a copy and not a move or transfer is um, if anything goes wrong I still have this this console still ready to go without having to copy thing back to it. Plus it's actually going to another room as a second Xbox One in the house so I kind of want to keep the stuff on it. So we're going to Click on it, go to transfer, and we're going to select, let's just say select all, make it easy, and then just going to scroll through and make sure everything is what I want, which it is, so this is all the stuff I want on there. And you have two selections, move selected or copy selected. So. We're going to hit Copy Selected, and you're going to see it's going to start the copy. Now, while it's, and say copy, and now while it's actually copying the data between the two locations, um, I'm going to uh, see about gathering the other information that I want to transfer that's not being backed up in those settings and then we'll be right back to actually do the backup of the system. Okay, our copy is done. I have grabbed all the other information I need off the console. Um, so now it's time to do the backup. Then come back to the home page here. Let's do the backup. We have to go to System and Settings. And then from there we go down to System, we go to Backup and Transfer, and we click on Backup My Settings. And it's back up to this device. Back up now. And it's done. There we are, we're all done with the backup. Now the next thing we have to do is power this unit down, put the new one up, and and do the restore. So we'll be back as soon as I finish unboxing and getting everything set up. Okay, the new Xbox One X is in. Uh, the instructions are to um, plug the hard drive in before you power it on, and then turn it on and see what happens. Okay, we are walking through the instructions. Pressing the A button, and there it is. Apply settings. So this is the backup. Put 
then we're going to apply them. And now it's going to walk through the things like update and so other things like a first time startup. So we're going to start the update. So the upgrade's done. Now it's asking to log in and it will be done. So it's only going to do the one account because that's the account that backed it up. And then we'll be done. And you'll have to do all the rest of your settings that it doesn't back up. And the next thing I'll do is copy the uh, uh, games from the external hard drive onto the internal hard drive. So there we are, back up and restore. Um, in addition, I'll be uh, linking the, the, the actual Microsoft uh, article in my description. So uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at that. One restored system. Thanks, everyone.